Welcome to Cybersecurity Gurukul. Today, we're diving into a topic that has become increasingly prevalent in the digital age catfishing. But what, you might ask, does a term associated with a freshwater fish have to do with the digital world? Well, in this context, catfishing isn't about reeling in a catch from the pond. Instead, it involves someone creating a fake online identity, often with the intent to deceive. This deception typically takes place in the realm of online dating, where the catfisher lures in unsuspecting individuals with a fabricated persona. The term catfishing might seem odd, but it actually originates from a documentary film released in the year 2010. The film, aptly named Catfish, delved into the world of deceptive online relationships, bringing this digital phenomenon into the limelight. The term catfishing gained popularity from the 2010 documentary Catfish, where the filmmakers explored a deceptive online relationship. But how do catfishers operate? That's what we're going to discuss next. Now, imagine a world where people can hide behind a screen and pretend to be someone they're not. This is the realm where catfishers thrive. They create a false identity and their tool of choice is the internet. The first step in their deception often involves creating a fake online profile. They might use stolen photos or fabricate images to suit the persona they want to portray. They not only invent an appealing persona, but also craft an intricate backstory. This could involve a prestigious job, an exciting lifestyle, or a heart-rending personal history. The aim is to make the persona as attractive or sympathetic as possible to lure unsuspecting individuals into a relationship. Once the bait is set, they begin to reel in their victims. This is where emotional manipulation comes into play. Catfishers are adept at identifying a person's vulnerabilities and playing to them. They might shower their victims with affection, offer a sympathetic ear, or share personal stories to form a bond. These false relationships can last for weeks, months, or even years. During this time, the catfisher will continue to build on the persona, spinning more intricate webs of deception. They may avoid meeting in person or video chatting by coming up with a series of excuses or emergencies. However, it's not all about emotional manipulation. Catfishers also use charm to their advantage. They might compliment their victims excessively, share their dreams and goals, or show interest in their victims' hobbies or passions. This is all part of the ploy to gain their victims' trust and keep them engaged. Another tactic catfishers employ is creating a sense of urgency. They might claim they're in a crisis and need immediate help. Or they may profess their love quickly and push for a serious relationship. In essence, catfishing is a carefully orchestrated deception executed with patience and precision. The catfisher's ultimate goal is to maintain the illusion long enough to achieve their end game, whether it's emotional satisfaction, financial gain, or something more sinister. Catfishers often use emotional manipulation, charm, or sympathy to keep their victims engaged. The risks of falling victim to catfishing are real and varied. Imagine, if you will, the emotional toll of discovering that a person with whom you've shared personal stories, dreams, and even romantic feelings is not who they claim to be. The distress can be profound, leading to feelings of betrayal, embarrassment, and a deep sense of loss. Beyond the emotional impact, catfishing can also lead to significant financial scams. Catfishers often weave intricate tales of hardship or emergency persuading their victims to part with their hard-earned money. From small amounts to life savings, the financial fallout from catfishing can be devastating. But the risks don't stop there. In some extreme cases, catfishing can pose actual physical dangers. Some catfishers may lure their victims into meeting in person, leading to potentially dangerous situations. Others may use the personal information shared during the relationship to stalk, harass, or even engage in identity theft. Now you might be thinking, this could never happen to me. But the truth is, catfishing can happen to anyone, regardless of age, gender, or internet savvy. Catfishers are skilled manipulators who exploit our natural desire for connection and companionship. 
they thrive on the anonymity and emotional distance that the internet provides, making it easy for them to deceive and manipulate. So, how do we protect ourselves from these risks? The first step is awareness. Understanding the reality and risks of catfishing is the first line of defense. But awareness alone is not enough. It's crucial to be proactive, to question inconsistencies, to be cautious with the information we share online, and to trust our instincts when something feels off. And remember, it's perfectly okay to ask for proof of identity when forming online connections. A genuine person will understand and respect your need for safety. In the end, online connections can be wonderful and rewarding, but they also require vigilance and care. Because in the vast world of internet, not every fish in the sea is what it seems. It's essential to be aware of the potential pitfalls and take proactive measures to protect yourself. Now, let's talk about how you can identify if someone is catfishing you. It's all about spotting the red flags. One of the most common signs is inconsistency. This could be in their stories, their profile, or even their responses to your questions. If they claim to be a world-renowned chef one day and a pilot the next, or if they can't keep their own life story straight, it might be a sign that you're dealing with a catfish. Another warning sign is overly perfect or model-like photos. If every picture looks like it belongs on a magazine cover, or if their photos look suspiciously like a celebrity or public figure, there's a good chance you're not interacting with a real person. A quick reverse image search can often reveal if the photos are stolen from another source. Yet another sign of catfishing is a reluctance to meet in person or video chat. Catfishers will often come up with a variety of excuses to avoid face-to-face -face interaction. They may claim to be constantly traveling, have a poor internet connection, or just be too shy. These are often tactics to avoid being caught in their deception. But perhaps the most important tip is to trust your instincts. We all have an intuitive sense that alerts us when something doesn't feel right. If you're getting weird vibes or if something just doesn't add up, listen to that inner voice. It's often more accurate than we give it credit for. Remember, catfishers are masters of manipulation. They're good at what they do, which is why it's so important to stay vigilant. Don't be afraid to ask questions, do a little detective work, or even ask for outside opinions if you're unsure. So, to recap, look for inconsistencies, be wary of perfect photos, watch out for avoidance tactics, and above all, trust your instincts. It's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to online relationships. Trust your instincts, and if something feels off, it probably is. To protect yourself from falling victim to catfishing, there are several strategies you can employ. In this digital age, we often forget the importance of privacy, offering up personal information without a second thought. But when it comes to online dating, caution is key. Be mindful of what you share. This includes everything from your full name and address to your place of work and financial details. Now, let's talk about images. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but in the world of catfishing, those words may not represent the truth. That's where reverse image searches come in handy. Websites like Google Images or TinEye allow you to upload a photo and see where else it appears on the internet. If the charming profile picture also pops up on a stock photo site, you might be dealing with a catfish. Another protective measure is to consider video chats early in the relationship. In an era of Zoom meetings and FaceTime calls, there's no reason why someone you've met online should refuse to video chat. It's a quick, easy way to verify a person's identity. If they're constantly making excuses to avoid showing their face, it's a red flag. Let's not forget the power of a good old-fashioned internet search. Don't hesitate to do a little online sleuthing if you can't find any trace of your online paramour outside of the dating site or if what you do find doesn't line up with what they've told you, your catfish alarm should be ringing. Lastly, always remember to trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Don't ignore those gut feelings. They're your subconscious picking up on inconsistencies and warning signs that your conscious mind might overlook. 
Remember, your safety should always come first. By being vigilant, you not only protect yourself from catfishing, but also create a safer online dating environment for everyone. If you find yourself a victim of catfishing, don't panic. It's essential to regain control of the situation swiftly. Start by cutting off all contact with the person who has been catfishing you. This includes blocking their profile and any other means of communication they may have used. It's also crucial to report their profile to the platform where you met them, providing as much detail as possible to help prevent them from harming others. Inform your friends and family about what has happened. They can provide emotional support and help you stay vigilant in case the catfisher tries to contact you through them. If you've shared personal or financial information, it's time to reach out to the authorities. They can guide you on the best course of action to take. Finally, secure your accounts, change passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and monitor your accounts for any suspicious activity. Take steps to secure your accounts and remember it's not your fault. You've taken the first step towards recovery by acknowledging the situation.